Hi, I'm Adam Koonsmiller with BGG TV at Gen Con 2014, and I'm joined by Sean Brown with Mr. B Games, and we're here to look at Alien Uprising. We actually previewed this last year, and now I see it in its final form. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, kind of give us the overview here. So, uh, the concept of Alien Uprising is we are, it's a cooperative game where we are the crew of a crashed starship that's landed on an alien world, and uh, upon crashing, we were thrown from our ship. We land immediately taking damage, and we are thrown right in the middle of a very hostile environment. Uh, for us to win, we need to run around to all these pieces of scattered debris, pick them up, bring them to the ship, and repair them, and try to get the ship spaceworthy so that we can get away before the aliens start swarming us in all directions and just start pummeling us to an oblivion. All okay, right, cool. So. You mentioned aliens swarming from all directions. What, why don't we take a look at that? What, are, what do the aliens do? So you've got a drawback here, and effectively what you're going to do is in every sector you're going to start out with a couple of these guys randomly drawn. Now sometimes when you pull out of a bag, you're going to pull a planet token. And these are bad. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> these happen, you actually start to advance this gestation track uh, for everyone that you do and they don't count as the aliens that you have to pull from the bag. Oh, so you have to keep going. So you just have to keep going back into the bag and going, oh, okay, here's my next couple of guys, right? Mm -hmm. Then you go over to the next sector, put two, and you're like, oh, okay, here's two more guys. And then you go to the last sector and uh, you say, okay, here's two more guys. So uh, yeah, we had a really un unfortunate, unfortunate draw to already, yeah. you know, already start at a gestation. So uh, there's also another way you can escape is for some reason you can't get the ship fixed or uh, you just don't find the right mix of stuff, which can happen. You get so overwhelmed, there's mm -hmm. too many things to do, not enough resources. You can always wait for this rescue ship here to uh, slowly make its way home. And uh, Richard Lanius put it best, he said, this is kind of like your mom picking you up from school. <laughs> She'll eventually get there, but you really want to try to fix the ship and get away, because right. you don't want anybody to see your mom save you. Makes right sense. Right from the rescue ship. So. Uh, Basically, how a turn works is once everybody's there, uh, you've got these custom dice, and you're gonna roll these, and those are the available actions for the crew to take this turn. You're gonna do a slight dry dice draft where every player is going to take a die, mm -hmm. and then uh, once everybody's taken a die, and some of us might get two, uh, then everybody's going to take a turn in play order. Uh, the cool thing about everybody's character is you have a unique skill. So, like in this case, uh, Jake Comet's unique skill is that he can re-roll action dice that are basically worthless for people. So like, uh, Adam here rolled an alien, mm -hmm. which would give nobody an action, but if we gave it to the captain, he could re-roll it re -roll and it. theoretically get himself a better action. Uh, every, other, every character also comes with a really cool skill deck. Now those cards are very tailored to his specific skill set. So as the ship captain, he's really good at delegating orders. So his cards allow him to empower other people. He's okay. a really good support character. So once we've drafted, and once everybody's used their dice to move around and grab various gear, the aliens get to take a turn. Now when the aliens get to take a turn, nobody actually plays them, the game plays them themselves. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you draw a card, and on that card it's going to randomly show you, uh, you're gonna go sector by sector, and it's gonna let you know, do the aliens attack? If they do, then all of these tokens in every sector are gonna move forward and attack, and you're gonna do it sector by sector. Mm -hmm. So in this case, sector one would be attacking. So uh, for them to advance from this zone to this zone, they have to actually try to take out these shields. Okay. So find out if they're effective, you're gonna take the shield and flip it, and then it shows it's a power value of four. Okay. And this particular brute that's gonna come after the shield, he has a four icon, which means he gets to roll four dice oh, wow. to try to shatter that shield. Uh, so he takes his highest die, which is higher than a four, that's gonna destroy that shield. That die goes away, you flip the next shield, which is a four. Lucky for us, his other three attacks are all failures. The brute has a special power, he has armor, so he mm -hmm. takes two hits to flip him over or damage him. So these two hits here actually damage him to the flip zone, and this third hit actually defeats him. Oh, so, so the shield actually kind of worked like a bug zapper. So in one roll, you're taking care of him attacking and him taking damage back. Correct. So we tried to make sure that the alien's turn was quick. You know, you quick threw all easy, the dice yeah. all at once, and you could just move it rather than resolve it every time, one by one by one. Uh, so you'll do that per sector. And once you're done, and you do a planet phase, uh, and then you're going to restart with a new event. 
mm -hmm. and the events are going to give you some kind of a global condition, and you're going to keep continue to do that. Most games are going to go seven to nine turns, and usually right around somewhere in that window, you're either going to be in really bad shape, or you're going to be able to maybe be rescued, or just about have everything ready to fix the game. Always comes down to the wire. Uh, from the onset, you feel very stressed out. You feel like all the odds are stacked against you. And uh, I think Richard really nailed the feeling of desperate, sure. desperate survival. And how long does a typical game last? Uh, the first time you're going to play it, you're going to see about a two to two and a half hour game. Sure, as you Unless, get familiar with everything right, and get comfortable. Right. Unless you get beat pretty right. severely. Uh, and you can, you, know, you can play this game in uh, an hour or two, an hour and a half if you're going to lose. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you can lose sure. very quickly. Uh, but yeah, uh, your first game is going to be a little bit longer than most while you're uh, right. you know, picking up all the different rules and nuances. And is this available now? It is. It actually debuted here at Gen Con, and uh, it's uh, hitting retail stores Monday. All right, great. And once again, that was Alien Uprising from Mr. B Games.